Hello everybody, my name is your Chris, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim Anniversary Edition. In the last video, we got ourselves our first two houses, actually. And in this video, we are going to fight the mannequin demons. Um, not really. What do we want to do? Where is he? Oh, he's supposed to be right there. Um, the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller, I guess. So, we will start on this quest. I don't think we'll finish it in this video, but who knows. I don't really remember... Hmm. I remember how big it is. I just don't remember how long that usually takes. So, it might get finished in this video. But first, we gotta head to the White Run Stables and then take a carriage to Morthal and then do the quest. Hey, come on, man. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Where do you want to go? Well, I would like Morthal. Well, I'm in back and we'll be off. Giddy up there. Yeah, giddy up, stupid horse. It always takes so long to travel by carriage. Not really, it's just fast traveling. Take care when attacking dragons head on. They have been reported. Okay. I think I said something about them biting people's heads off. What's the Jarl going to do about it? How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please, go about your business. We have no need for wizards in our midst. Morthal has enough problems as it is. Ah, it's no use. Let's get back to it then. So, the usual. Angry villagers. Oh yeah, this mod adds like an actual blacksmith yeah. and stuff. That's interesting, but I think I don't have any use of one of them right now. No, I definitely don't. Especially because I'm not going to be crafting my own stuff. I kind of just want to, like, use whatever I find. Especially the Creation Club armor and stuff like that. Ooh, and over there is Mirror Watch, which is another house added with Skyrim Anniversary Edition. And I'm not going to do that in this video, but I will pin it up in the top right corner right now. And you can go watch that after this video, or right now I can't really tell you what to do other than if you like the video make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button preferably click the notification bell so you know when I upload I think I'm going to switch my upload times to three o'clock Eastern time Monday Wednesday and Friday for the series and then like I'll upload a random video every now and then and then I have like the sending the Dragonborn the space video that I do every week I've been trying to think of like new ideas what I can do for my one-off spin-off videos every week, but I don't know. Haven't really thought that through yet. Okay, now here is Ustengrav. Get all our buffs going. Get our flame after knockout. And it seems that Ustengrav is just like necromancers and a ancient Nordic ruin, like normal. Most of the main quest is just ancient Nordic ruins. Ooh, everybody's favorite drug, skooma. Okay, let's get into this. As always, excessively loot everything that I find. Even though it's probably not even worth it. Did we? No, we didn't. Never mind. Oh man, he's going after Argonians. Now that's not cool, man. But I guess that wouldn't make sense for Argonians to be... Well, are, are Argonians cold-blooded? Because then it would make sense for them to be cold in the blizzard. Because obviously you're cold blooded, your war your blood isn't warm when it's cold out, and that makes your body operate slower. There we go. So when you're fighting necromancers in Skyrim, you definitely just want to like kill them and ignore their thralls if possible. I mean sometimes the thralls are like the bigger danger because they're more powerful than the actual necromancer themselves. So you wanna kill them so you don't get destroyed before you defeat the necromancer. But usually you wanna just you know, get the necromancer because when they go, 
their thralls do as well. But I'm sure you probably knew that. There's usually supposed to be like a dead body right there. Oh yeah, now we're getting into the Draugr filled part. Okay, there is a lot of them in there, so I need to buff back up. Do I happen to have like a skill point? Because in the last video I was like, man, I don't have the dual casting restoration yet. And no, I still don't have any level ups or skill points, so... I'm gonna have to just go with normal restoration. I also don't have um, the first perk in the restoration tree. Seriously, they already took out my play knock. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I think there's supposed to be one of those um like soul gem traps right here, where you get shot with magic. Oh yes, back to you excessively looting everything that I can find, which makes like no sense. Ooh, what's in there? Chorus egg. Who would want to eat a chorus egg? Is it Chorus or Karus? I wonder. Skill book, restoration. That's kind of funny because I was just talking about how I need more restoration skills. So these urns actually turned out pretty good because they were like full of healing potions and stuff. Even though I think I'm already getting like an excessive amount of healing potions. Nowhere to go through. Oh, what the heck? Oh, yeah. Step on bones and sometimes it'll just fling you. Ooh, a table full of gold. Get the tankards out of the way. And then take all the gold. Okay, now where's the lever for this door? Oh, it's right here. Well, it's a chain, not a lever. Gotta love the secret doors of Skyrim. What is down here? Oh, just a chest. That's nice. Is it like a trap? Doesn't look like it. No? That's peculiar. Usually stuff like that's trapped. Kind of wish like the tunnel was trapped. Okay, so what's... Oh, yep, this room. Let's get our flame atra knocked down. Use oak flesh. And make short work of the... Oh, you know what? Restless Draugr, yeah, they use the frost spell, so... They are gonna take out the um, flame atra knock quick. He was already dead. Okay, what do you got? Gold, the usual. Okay, into the second room. This is, I think this is actually going a little quicker than I thought it normally does. Yeah, it definitely is. We're already in here. For some reason, I thought this was a lot longer of a dungeon. It is a unique dungeon. And, well, Skyrim all had, like, handcrafted dungeons type stuff. But a lot of them can be, like, similar and repetitive. But the main story ones have a few interesting differences. As we will come up on soon. That That is not it. Just saying. Okay, so maybe I can, like, send this... Can I send you down there? To take care of that one Draugr? Or is he already going to be coming up the stairs at me? Yeah, he is. No problem. 
since we have this level up, I think I'm going to start putting this back. Mm -hmm, put it in the Magicka. And go to Restoration, cast Novice Restoration Skills for half Magicka. When I say skills, I mean spells. I can't talk. It's not my fault. Um, I'll take everything in there. Alright. What else is there for me to do? There's an urn up here. It's like... Ooh, like a throne. That's cool. I guess this is where they would all... Oh, leave me alone. I guess that's where they'd like all meet. Okay. Not gonna bother looting him. It's not like... They never really have anything good on them. Usually just like 10 gold. But I have like a compulsive need to have all of it. And I'm kind of trying to like break out of that need. Because I just feel like it slows everything down when I loot every little last part. And I hate when it does that. It just ruined my shot. I was going to like have a cool coal lantern dropping down and exploding this dude. Ooh, that one had 19 gold. That makes it worth it. Through here is a little enchanting table. With usually like a scaled dagger. Everything in there is takeable. Okay. I'm going through this really, really quick. There's something up here usually. I think it's like a healing... Nope. Poison. I've always liked how this place looked up here. Oh, plus there's this like puzzle. Well, not a puzzle. It's like a little bit of platforming, which is pretty rare in Skyrim. What? And you have to use your, um, wooled shout. Which I only used the first part, but it used both of them on me, so I guess while we wait, I can just, um, conjure my flame atronach and have them do some work. Seeing as though I don't have any... How did you spawn all the way over there? I mean, I pointed it right there. Let's see if she can kill anybody. Nope, they're just... Alright, now I can use gold. And I don't remember what's around here. I think it's just like some random loot. Yeah, a chest. So, not really worth it whatsoever because it's a chest with four gold and one potion. And it's not even a useful potion at that, but oh well. Just skeletons in here. They're easy. I wish skeletons were a little tougher, but at the same time it makes sense that they're just like... Super weak, because they are just bones with nothing holding them together. Except for some like weird... I mean, I guess it's just like they're a magical creature. Down here there is something cool. It's a word wall. Can I quick save and just like jump in this water or is it too shallow? Too shallow. That's nice. Okay. Let's pretend I never did that. Go down here, get the word wall. And you can go, I think like behind the waterfall. Yeah. What word is this? I think it's like, become ethereal. It is. Wow, I'm a genius. Hello, what's going on? Restless dropper. Okay, so, yet again, a little bit underwhelming, not much good going on in there. There is one more spot down here that we can go into, and then we'll have to head back up, and I'll show you the one unique thing in Ust well, not, like, the one unique thing in Ustengrav, but what sets this dungeon away from the others a little bit. And it is this potion of minor healing and potion of pickpocketing. Now, why was there... There's literally one gold in the chest. That makes no sense. Who put the chest there? And who was like, hmm... 
I really need to find a hidden spot for my one septum. Also, why is there septums in an ancient Nordic ruin? Why are they carrying gold? That makes no sense. It's not like they would just have pristine, newly minted gold coins in their pockets. I mean, it should have just been like... I mean, especially because they're ancient Nords. These are people from before the Empire was founded, and the Septum is the currency of the Empire. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. I have Whirlwind Sprint activated, so basically you just, like... Can't wait when enemies are nearby. Where's the enemy? Well, you just, like, sprint through these. They open those what? gates, and then you can just... Usually, you can just wold through them, but for some reason, it didn't feel like it. What am I doing? Conjure Flame Atronach, kill that skeleton. What? No! Okay, it worked that time. But yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. And it's a little unique. It's kind of cool. I like how the dungeons make you actually use like the power of the voice. Hop over this. We're almost to the end here already. Ah yes, spiders. Where's the big one? Usually, yep, there's always a big one. I guess it's not like a giant frostbite spider, but it's bigger than the other two were. Okay, I'm going to make a save real quick. And here's another unique thing about Ustengrav. I don't know what it adds, but it is unique. And it'll make a cool thumbnail. Dragonborn, I need to speak to you urgently. Rent the attic room of the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood, and I'll meet you, a friend. So here we have another letter to a friend, or a letter from a friend. Though they're not really my friend, and I don't really like this person who it is. But at least they left the loot alone, right? Ooh, urn, my favorite one gold. See, it makes more sense for there to be, like, one gold in an urn. Because, you know, the urns are usually just filled with, like, ashes. So, you know, someone might have had, like, a gold piece on them where they... I know it's tradition in some... Well, it's some ancient traditions. You, like, give them a gold piece to buy access to the afterlife. And I think that's some Greek mythology. If I recall correctly. And that is Ustengrav. It only took like 15 minutes to go through. Not bad at all. So I guess we can um, finish up this quest. And it shouldn't take too long. After this, we are going to take a um, longer break from the main quest. But I just wanted to um, finish this up for a certain reason. Which I'm sure you probably know. Okay, so now let's fast travel to the Sleeping Giant Inn, and if you didn't know, that's the Inn in Riverwood. And I'm sorry that I'm not too talkative today. I know in the last video I didn't shut up, but today I'm just not like... Well, for one, I'm not feeling that great. I'm kind of stuffed up. And it's... I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. This must be another anniversary edition thing, I imagine. Let's see if we can find out what it was. Anonymous letter. No. Um, dinner invitation. Yes, it's that. Started guests for dinner. I also have a video on this, so I'm going to pin it in the top right, because I'm probably not going to do it anytime soon. Roderick, you have been cordially invited to dinner and drinks at Bloodshell Manor. As an honored guest, you are encouraged to come early and mingle with the attendees. When you are ready to feast, ask the housewaiter for a menu, and he will let you in the banquet hall. The finest and most delectable dishes will be on display. There will be no need for appetizers once everyone is ready and seated. A full course awaits. Come for the dinner, stay for the drinks. 
I don't know why you get that invitation so early because that quest is very difficult to finish. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. You're that visitor been poking around. I'd like to rent the attic room. Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. Okay, thanks. And she's gonna come in and talk to me. Come on, hurry up. So you're the dragonborn I've been hearing so much about. I think you're looking. Thanks. That's all I needed. The horn of Jurgen Windcaller. I do not want to follow you right now, Delphine, because I really don't want to do this right now. But I do want to return to the Greybeards and give them the horn of Jurgen Windcaller and finish this quest up. I believe it's activated another quest, A Blade in the Dark. Don't want anything to do with that right now. I apologize. Okay, so where are these people? Arngear, I think that's what his name is. Arngear, yeah, definitely. There he is. He's praying, meditating. You've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Windcaller. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. You are ready to learn the final word of unrelenting force. Da. Which means push. Okay. So now that he's done with this dialogue, we can run over here and just wait and they should get here quicker. With all three words together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Master Wolfgar will now give you his knowledge. Down. Why, thank you, Master. Oh, man. I like you to be, like, perfectly centered for this. A little upset now. We would speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. You can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards. But you are ready. Okay, so that's it for that, and I think I have to talk to him Don't last. Me. You have tasted the voice of the Greybeards. Oh man, I accidentally cut off his dialogue getting too close. Sorry about that, and I think that's where I'm going to end this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Click the notification bell, and I hope to see you in the next one. Oh, and one last thing. Let's check out this new shout. Well, it's not new, it's Unrelenting Force. It's the um rest of it. And it doesn't work on Master Bori. Basically, it just tosses people, but you probably already knew that. Alright, hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.